Hi guys, this is the part two of my Maldives vacation. And if you haven't watched my part one, which is the total travel vlog of Maldives, I suggest you go watch that also. And this video is completely about uh, the commercials of the package that I had with Gold Maldives and the itinerary, brief itinerary, and other stuff like visa. Uh, travel decoration, uh, currency, everything. So let's dive into the video. But before that, Namaskaram everyone. This is Satya Aka Watersol and welcome to my YouTube page. So let's get into the video. Let me talk about this itinerary that is provided by Gold Maldives. My Maldives vacation was so good. So I thought I should uh, come in front of you and discuss about these commercials in detail so that you can also choose to be on this journey with Gold Maldives. The total itinerary is like this. It is from uh, Male Airport and back to Male Airport and which is a total trip of four nights and five day trip. Okay, I had to do a uh, few things which is I had to get my own tickets. Tickets are not included in the package from your hometown or whichever place you're staying. To Male Airport and back to uh, your hometown is in your uh, uh, budget. So I booked my tickets from Bangalore to Male Airport. I had to do a travel uh, 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 declaration. I had to fill it with before 96 hours of my flight. What I had to do is I had to go on an Inuga website that is an uh, official website of Maldives where you have to fill in the details for your travel declaration. You don't have to take a visa prior. You, you get a visa on arrival. You just have to fill this Imuga. For this Imuga uh, travel declaration, all you need to have is both sides uh, flight tickets and the booking details of your hotels wherever you're staying in Maldives. So if you're booking through Gold Maldives, your uh, uh, hotel bookings are shared with you prior to your uh, uh, day of journey so you can uh, put in those details in the uh, website and get your travel declaration done after you arrive at Malay airport you show this your uh, passport and they enter your passport uh, number in their uh, website and yes if you are if you are already done the declaration you will check clear the immigration and you'll enter the Malay airport which is so beautiful so it is filled with uh, tourists from all over the places and you see people carrying surfboards and I'll tell you why in the coming video and if you've already seen the previous vlog shh, once you enter the Malay airport there is a ferry for you to reach this island the Fushi island this is a local island in Maldives where your stay is at Beach House de Fushi. Beach House de Fushi is a sea facing uh, uh, hotel uh, wherein you have this uh, uh, beach right in front of your uh, uh, stay and the water is so crystal clear and blue and yeah because uh, you have just come on this is the day one you reach the Fushi island and the day one is completely for uh, you to take some rest and in the evenings you can enjoy the sunset from the sunset beach is a beautiful sunset beach which i couldn't go but if you are here you go food is included which i forgot to mention all the uh, uh, places that you are uh, staying in Maldives, the food is included. It is covered by the Gold Maldives. So the day two, you can do some water activities which are paddling and kayaking, which is also provided by Gold Maldives. Uh, also in day two, uh, you can do other water activities apart from paddling and kayaking. Uh, paddling and kayaking are included in your itinerary in your package that is provided by gold Maldives. but if you want to do an, some other activities like i did which is shark snorkeling snorkeling sorry <laughs> so i did on, it on my expense so if you want to like uh, want to just uh, go for that also it isn't but this is a budget trip so emphasize on that word budget so if you're going for like want to enjoy the local islands 
आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड गो फॉर समथिंग एल्स एज वेल बट या सिक्सटी फाइव डॉलर्स आई थॉट फाइव थाउजेंड आई कैन स्पेंड ऑन दिस सो या डे थ्री आई हैव रीच दिस तुलुस टू आई लैंड इन अ प्राइवेट बोट इट डिपेंड्स Uh, on a uh, subject to your timings which time you want to reach this island it's a, uh, uh, either a private boat or a, a normal ferry so uh, i have checked in in coral inn which is like my favorite place in this island and it's very beautiful as i showed you already in the previous vlog so very beautiful place this doesn't feel budget at all uh, so the food is also great here amazing kerala cook so indians i mean you are going to just love the food here i would say uh, the food in uh, diffus is obviously uh, international touch but here we are full set we are getting indian food but <laughs> you check in you stay here tulustu is a beautiful island you just have two days to uh, roam around this island it is a small island but you have so much to do uh, see in this island so there are lot of beaches i have covered everything in that vlog two days you spend in tulustu island you get to interact a lot with locals i had made like many friends i would say friends because i go on uh, a walk in this island it's a very small island as i told you so people see hi they say they smile at you even they don't know you they just uh, greet you so it's like a very welcoming island and there's one more uh, important detail which i'll be sharing at the end uh, so watch till the end and day 5 is for you to say bye bye to this amazing vacation and reach to male airport and again by the local boat transfer that is organized by our gol maldives so this entire trip is from uh, maldives uh, maldives international airport that is male to male is completely covered in the gol maldives uh, package including food accommodation and some water activities as i told you two of them this cost you 9 not 3 usd like 9 not 3 usd at present uh, should be approximately yeah 73950 rupees and this is for two people so 74000 and for two people for one it will be uh, 37000 so 37000 i had booked my flight tickets to here uh, i i chose a more economic thing i chose layover flights instead of a single flight so that i can save some money that was uh, between 15 to uh, uh, 20000 uh, so you can cover your entire trip in 55k i would say so this is the best thing about this uh, trip because it comes in budget and it's not a, a luxurious honeymoon getaway like the other maldives uh, always what you have been seeing uh, how a maldives vacation this is not like that this is an offbeat maldives budget vacation where you come here to enjoy the local islands instead of just enjoying the private island resorts so here the entire island is free for you to go around there is no extra charges for you to pay to see any beach or anything for obviously for other some water activities you have to pay which is not included in this package if you want to do you can go for that i myself have done a one good thing which is i bought my own snorkeling kit from decathlon i bought back at my home so i bought it with myself so the water here is crystal clear so go keep on your gear and dive into those waters i have told you about the itinerary uh, commercials visa imga tickets everything have right now let's discuss about the sim card obviously you need to talk to your parents mummy ko call nahi kiya to to pad padegi <laughs> yeah obviously <laughs> So I haven't taken any SIM card. Uh, obviously, our Indian SIMs doesn't work here. So Tata, bye bye to Jio and Airtel. Uh, so there are local SIMs here, tourist SIMs, international tourist SIMs here, which are Orido and some other some other thing, which is like thirty five dollars for thirty days. It is okay. 
so but we are not going to stay here for 30 days and for four or five days i don't think it is required and every place that i went like male airport has got wi-fi these hotels that the gold maldives have provided has got wi-fi the local cafes that we went had wi-fi everything has got wi-fi so sim kaha use aayegi okay i can always do uh, whatsapp calling right so that is thing but if you wanted to have uh, uh, like if you are like always want to be in touch when you are in beach or in some other place if you feel it is important for you guys if you are going in group i would say one person just take one sim and everyone of you can use it so after you come to uh, airport you find uh, people selling the sims so it's very easy to know the next thing is currency here uh, two currencies can be uh, are uh, uh, valid so one is mvr maldivian rupee and the second one is usd so us dollars is very uh, every island ha- uh, communicates in this us dollars only although uh, mvr is used so if you i pre- i see you bring uh, a US- usd with you guys so i myself bought 300 usd which is uh, approximately 25000 when i bought it it was 25000 i don't know when you will bring how much it would be actually if you are traveling with gold travels you don't have to bring any amount but if you are planning to do something other uh, other than that is uh, included in this uh, i think you should bring or else there is no literally no no reason that you had to bring money except for that it is not a mandatory to carry uh, the cash i would say not bring only because i bought i started spending in on that stupid stuff that was hell talk <laughs> so one mvr is 5.33 indian rupee so yeah and uh, as you know usd it is 81 82 uh, rupees one usd is so this is about the currency also uh, the luggage allowance for an international trip is 30 kg so don't make silly mistakes like me i carried my my check in luggage was just 8 kg instead i could carry so much uh, food in my check in and i can bring here obviously maldives is like a, a coastal place right so it is a little bit hot obviously so you would want to drink uh, coca cola like the ads aise 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 the your you will be gulping the coca cola it's very nice but it comes with a cost the 20 rupees uh, coca cola bottle that you get at our place here it is 2 dollars 2 dollars is 163 rupees so don't do that thing so if you like if you crave for something always like i crave for cokes in vac- during vacations so i would suggest you bring that in your check in luggage always make sure uh, your end day which is fifth day day 5 is not friday because uh, maldives uh, function uh, will not function fully during fridays so i myself has taken uh, my uh, has planned my vacation such that the fifth day is saturday which is tomorrow i am leaving maldives tomorrow uh, so yeah you should plan like that this is a pro trip tip that i am offering to all these water soul fans so all of you who are watching this video this is secret don't share it with anyone <laughs> and with this my maldives vacation has come to an end i hope i am i have been very helpful to you guys and i uh suggest and i recommend you to travel to maldives with gold maldives because it is a very unique and new kind of experience and it is for every one of you not just couples yes it's not just for you guys it's for everyone and yeah it is my end day i'm just uh, feeling so uh, gloomy already i don't want to leave this place but I am also excited to be part of another trip on another journey so yeah see you guys it is a it has been great talking to you and helping you and tomorrow i'll leaving to i'm leaving to male airport until next time do subscribe do follow in instagram do like all my posts and reels and shots and you have always been a great support i love you bye bye